this art activity, we're going to be looking to see how lines can be used to recall patterns and rhythm in nature. We're going to need a clipboard, some paper, a pencil, a selection of fallen leaves, some paints and a leaf identification chart or guide. With the fresh growth in the recent rain bringing the structure of leaves to the fore, take some time to be still, to sit, listen to the sounds around you. What sound is the furthest away? Bring the sound focus closer and closer. What's the closest sound you can hear? Listen to what's around you and immerse yourself in a bit of you time. Calm. Breathe. Become aware of the smells around you. The damp earth. The green. Focus on one leaf. Look at the structure of the leaf. The lines that you can see. The shape. Look for repetition, perhaps a rhythm of its movement, or the rhythm and the patterns. As you sit, notice patterns that you might not have seen before. See the subtle shades and the tones. Is there just one green? Immerse yourself, capturing the very essence of the leaf. some naturally occurring rhythmical sounds in nature. Think about your heartbeat for example. How could this be represented? How do famous artists represent rhythm? Think about Van Gogh's Starry Night for example. Think about those wonderful lines radiating across the page. Think about standing near a puddle or a pool or a pond. Just think about the drop entering the water and the rings radiating away from the centre of the drop. How could you represent those radiating rings? How could you show concentric rings, the rhythm, the repetition. What techniques could you use? So how can we create or recreate or capture the rhythm? Using two or three leaves, Place them onto a page, move them around until you find a position that's pleasing for you. How are you going to do that? Change the order of the leaves, change the direction, change the angle or the orientation. When you're happy with your arrangement or your placement on the page, then draw around the leaves using pencil. Gently move them.
So you're starting to make a collection of lines on the page. So how could this pattern be mimicked in order to create a rhythm? From the marks that you've made, you could create the ripple effect coming out by mimicking or copying the lines radiating out from the lines you've already made on the page. To make the lines stand out a wee bit more, use a permanent marker or a black pen to go over the outline of your original leaves. Do the same for the concentric rings or the radiating lines that you've created. If you want to add a bit more detail, you could actually take one of the leaves and copy the actual lines that you can see on the leaf, but keep it really simple. You can colour maybe just one or two elements. And back in the classroom, for example, you could use drama to try and perform these rhythms to communicate a feeling or a message about the nature that you've discovered. I'm sure you'll take this idea far further.